Says we back, baby. Are we back? Are we back? This beat. We must be back if it's this beat. If you hear this beat, you know we're back. battery pack turned on but now we are now we got on. everything we have some proprietary hardware learning curve shit going on w stream though you guys i got a stat for that stream that i made two thousand percent more subs than i did my last stream before that Woo! it's fucking awesome that's amazing it's so awesome huge you guys are amazing! What the fuck? Right, Jake, Merry Christmas! Stackio, Stackopoli, how's it going? Danny, we back, baby! And a happy holidays! Bum, 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 bum. Thank you for the follows, everybody! How's the quality? Can you guys see? We got one bar out here. Chillin', drinking a cold brew, that's what's up. Drive safe, brother, I absolutely will. Nice, quick. Dude, we don't have any creamer, huh? Uh-oh. Yeah, that would be fire. Might drink all of our heavy cream. Looks and sounds great, let's go, baby. We you stop by the gas station? Hey, did you uh, did you tell Gigi and, and uh, Obey to do that? No. That's all right, they're sleeping right now. So I will tell them. Or are you telling them? Yeah. Any fans of uh, pork rinds? Big pork rind guy. I like anything spicy. I give these a spiciness scale, like a three out of 10. That wasabi was probably like a five or a six. I just did a lot of it. Thank you guys for the falls, love it. Here, kitty. You guys, I, I just now instructed my editors. I just instructed my editors to check the Discord and the Clips channel on my Twitch for any clips that have been made so I could turn them into TikToks. If you guys clip stuff, I will shout you out. If you guys are posting this on Instagram or Twitter, I will repost it. This is a good way for you get, to get exposure based on my channels and for you guys to also help me by making content for me. I sincerely appreciate the support. This helps me a lot, and I really, it really means a lot to me, guys. So thank you so much. If you guys have the chance or the time to make content and post it on Instagram or Twitter, I will repost it, as well as having you guys post it in the Discord or just making them in general. My editors will find them. They will use them, and you guys are making it fucking happen for me. I appreciate it. I'm gonna check my Twitter right now to see if anybody has tagged me in anything. Nobody yet. Then we are in a dead zone. Drive across country in Niagara Falls. That's in New York. Hey, do your thing, my man. Go get dinner, Mo. I appreciate you.
We are headed to uh, Park City. Yeah, we're in a dead zone. I don't got shit for service. Right. Gotta keep it moving. There you go. Boom, boom, bada, boom, bada, bing, bada, boom, boom, bada, bing. Play that fucking track one more time. Please. Play that track. When you hear this track, you know we back. Track equals back. All right, well, now that means that you have to play that every time that we fail. That's our getting back onto the stream. This is how you know when we're back, boys. How's that? How's that quality? How we looking, boys? We got 68 loyal tribe members left in the chat. We are down to the most of loyalist of the loyalists. I'm 31, kind of old for TikTok, I think. Eli is 30 and I'm 33, fried chicken. You're never too old. Yeah, I do not feel too old for TikTok at all. Hey, sit down, sit down. You can get me banned, woman. Build shelter here, boys. We'll start at dawn. Danny, come pick us up. Where are you going? We going to Park City, Utah, my friend. I don't have a tweet or a talk. That's okay. You just hang out and stream with us. Ohio Cat Daddy, Eli. Hope you're doing amazing road trip. Where are we going? What's up, Ohio uh, Cat Daddy? We are headed to Park City. Park City, Utah. Can you guys see the stream? 105 now, what does that mean? Probably people in the chat. Oh yeah. You guys are young. You're only as young as you feel, right? Since when is 30 and 33 considered old? Since fucking social media came around. For real. Yeah. A lot of these cats are, a lot of these like influencers are a good decade younger than me. Yeah. 30 is the new 20, but hey, yo, I've, I've never felt better. I know, I definitely feel more in my prime now than I ever have before. You know, it's like, it's like 20, but being way wiser. A lot more wisdom. Tony Rock! Eli, be safe. Cheers! Cheers, my boy! That's Tony Rock in the house. Tony yeah, Rock. That's Tony Rock. He's a good guy, huh? He's a good guy, Tony yeah, Rock. We fuck with you. We fuck with you, Tony. He's a good earner. Yo, the only thing that I like more than Uncle Tony is another Tony. The entire Austin trip was a special event. Love Glad you guys liked it. Mike is gung ho about going back. He said he might go out there by himself for New Year's instead of coming and hanging out with me and Eli. Did you hear him say that? Yeah, I don't know what that's What about. the hell is that about? Yeah, how are you gonna how are you gonna go out by yourself and not come hang out with your fucking boys on Christmas? And hey, we're going to like a Christmas town. You know, you guys better, if you guys go on my stream tonight, you better tell them what's up. You better tell them to fucking come out here. I want you to spam the tribe emo in his chat. Let them know what the fuck is up. Danny season, 30 as well. 31, about to be 32 and 66. All right, we got a bunch of 30 year olds. Let's go. Yeah, that's what's up. Good age, boys. Tony is a hard worker. He's a good earner. Damn good earner. Damn good earner. You guys passing through AZ now? No. We are, are we in Nevada? Uh, we haven't hit Nevada yet. I think we're about to hit the Nevada border sometime soon-ish. We're about to hit Barstow. I think we have about 120 miles though. Come through Dallas. That is a little... 
Actually, a, a certain version of it does come stock 4x4, but this version didn't. This is the Concourse XL. Uh, she did it. But yeah, it, I threw like 20 grand on it. I, th I, th I was going to do the whole van life thing, and uh, then I started living with Eli. Quentin Talentimo! Thank you for the follow, brother. Welcome to the tribe. How many followers do we have? We're viewers. First 23. Let's go! Let's fucking go. The most loyal of the loyals in right now. We got the loyalists in the house. The, the, the core tribe members, if you will. I'm really confident that I'm gonna blow the fuck up on this, guys, too. Like, I, uh, I'm not trying to be egotistical or cocky or anything, but, like, the tribe is easily the project that I've created or worked on that I have the most confidence in. I think has the most potential to turn into something really, really fucking big. So you gotta believe in yourself before anyone believes in you. Yeah, and, and just, like... Talking to everybody and going over the content and like the way that it brings out a different element of my personality and who I am as a person, it, it really makes me feel like such a strong sense of purpose. Even just like having people on my stream and talking to them or like doing shit like this with Craig and everybody. I feel like I'm living my life with purpose. We're like, again, I don't feel like a fucking porn director anymore, guys. I feel like a Twitch streamer. And you guys are day ones, bro. We got 120 people in here. I know a lot of you guys personally. I recognize your names every single day. I recognize how you guys talk, the things you say. I'm starting to remember where you guys live, what you guys do. You guys are the day ones, man. I fucking appreciate you guys. Day ones in the chat. Yo, we got Dara69 in the chat. Hey, what what's up, up Dara? Glad you could join us, brother. You got the, uh, you got the, uh, activity list? Oh, I am up to date, my friend. Except just now, my boy Grizzled Del De Delval has followed us. Thank you for the follow. Hey, welcome to the tribe. Welcome dude. to the motherfucking tribe. We're on our way to Park City right now. Well, first, we're cruising through Las Vegas. Two hours to Vegas. If anybody's in Vegas and you want to meet up real quick, let me know. Yeah, what's up, Danny? Looking at you. My boy Connor 420 from North Phoenix. Where are they going? We're going to Park City, my friend. No, we're going to Utah, Grizzle. Don't we ain't going to Alaska. North Phoenix? I went to high school in Anthem, Arizona at Boulder Creek. Everyone right in this channel right now is an alpha. Facts. We got the day ones, the loyals, the the most committed. Yeah, message me on uh, Discord fried chicken. Let's, uh, let's set up something tomorrow and, uh, you know, oh, yeah, grab, really grab a meal. That'd be cool. It's going to be early morning, fried chicken. Early morning. I don't know how early. Like Probably can't bring the, the, the camera in the strip club. Oh, no. I mean, while we're in Park City, we'll hit up the strip club. We'll head down to Salt Lake. Because when Griffin comes in, he's renting a car, too. True. Facts. Factoids. Four tribes sticks together, 100%. 100%. Morbin, gifted a tier one sub to my boy Fried Chicken. Hey, thank you, Morbin. Welcome to the tribe, Fried Chicken. I mean, Fried Chicken been in the tribe. Yeah, welcome, uh, you know, to the Welcome page to that sub life. Yeah, sub life. Shout out, Morbin. If you need any studio gear, and when I say any, I mean uh, sound dampening uh, pads. Hit up my boy Morbin. Morbin, drop me your socials. Drop the socials, Morbin. Check out his stuff. He's building my equipment right now, I think. Or soon, anyway. Oh, man, I am behind on the messages. Yeah, that's a good thing, Craig. Is it good? Yeah, let's take your time reading them. You got time. Alright. You guys don't mind, right? Try to go quick. Try to go quick. Alright, I'm checking. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. 
No, you will bro, blow up, brother, for sure. Just give it time. Oh, we know, bro. We not. I, I am sure of it. Like, Eli has, like, he resonates with so many people. He's gotten so much traction in so little time. Like, I've seen Twitch streamers that are just, like, you know, every day grind for five years. You know, they got, like, 100 viewers. This guy had 100 viewers, like, right away, like, consistently. A lot of guys, thank you, Mike, for putting me in this channel. I mean, yeah, Mike, Mike definitely, like, catapulted him up, but, like, gave him just, a strong... I can tell that it's like you guys resonate with my what I'm trying to do, you know? They see the vision. They really see the fucking vision, dude. I think the main thing is that too is as you grow to ban the negative shitheads as you grow so the community stays positive. Oh, that's my biggest thing. Yeah, we try to clear the swamps. Trim the fat. Trim the fat. We trim the fat around here since day one. Dude, I love that. You saw it. You saw it, my boy. Trim the fat. Yeah, day they one. Did. They did. No hesitation. No hesitation. Yeah. That's the only admission fee to this tribe, bro. You gotta be positive. And 50 subs. If you, yeah. I'm just kidding. No, that's for the parties. But if you try to bring anybody down in the tribe, you're fucking out. That was so funny. Trimming the fat. Just that whole drama. You were my caravan during that. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Little known fact about that night is I, I had an agreement with Eli to not drink. <laughs> and, and like, cause I was, I was, I was trying to not drink, and uh, <laughs> my girlfriend Jelly, she's like, "Babe, you want a secret shot?" And so I'm like, "Uh, no." Yes. All right, give me a secret shot. So I took a secret shot. And, you know, one secret shot turns into two secret shots, and you know, eventually I'm pretty sloshed, you know, and like being a cameraman and like. I think Eli picks up on it that I'm sloshed. Well, yeah. what I did is I was trying to clean up and I handed him a bottle. I was like, go put that in the fucking freezer or fridge, you know? <laughs> and I'd already kind of sensed you, like, something was off. Like, I knew, because in the heat of the moment during that party, I was, like, trying to handle logistics and kind of panicking. And I could tell that Craig wasn't reliable anymore, you know? I didn't really know what was up, though, and I gave him the bottle to put it away and I saw him pouring shots. I was like, Craig, the fuck you doing, man? And he's like, oh, oh, deer in headlights, bro. Oh, and I'm like, put down the fucking fridge, Craig. And I was like, Craig, go to your room. He's like, all right, you came out through here. What do you need? What do you need? And I was like, Craig, I need you to go to your room, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was feeling pretty guilty. I dropped the ball there. I felt like but, a little kid. But the beautiful thing, bro, is like by doing that, we learned like a valuable lesson, you know? We're yeah. like... Just to be transparent, you know, Craig shouldn't drink alcohol. He's not in his prime during alcohol. Yeah. You know? And I have not had a drop since that moment. And I'm proud of you, bro. You know, it's like... I don't know. Only halfway up to the tippy top. That's right. We're climbing this mountain. We're only halfway. How does it go? We're at the top of the mountain and we're only halfway there. That's right. Hi, everyone. Good night, everyone, for Cordoba, Argentina. Yo, what's up, man? I've been to Argentina. I've been to Buenos Aires. Been down to Patagonia in Argentina. Love that country, man. Great food, yeah. food, beautiful people. That was a steak. Oh, my God. Oh, have you been to Argentina? No, but oh. the fucking world class oh. steak. Yeah, there's like four heads of cow for every person there or something crazy See, like this that. This is the shit about Salt Bay's restaurants. Like, I've gone to some restaurants where they like have big source from like specific farms that have like crazy pedigrees in Argentina, you know? Yeah. And like they didn't say shit on their menu about where they get their steak. I remember this one uh, this one restaurant I went into in Argentina. They're like in Argentina. Uh, what is it? Lamb. lamb is really big there. Like they eat a lot of lamb. I love lamb. And I went to this restaurant and they got like you like you're at the table and you can see the lamb. Like they have the lamb right outside the restaurant. Like so they slaughter them right there and like serve it like right there. It's, it's a pretty amazing experience. That's crazy. I was in El uh, Chaltan. Morbin. Oh wait, no, no, no. I'm behind. I'm behind. It's all right. It's all right. Mormon strip clubs go hard. What kind of road trip vehicle is this? Kids Jiggy, this is my custom Ford Chinook 2000 Concourse XL. 
It is a 4x4 conversion. This baby can get most places other RVs cannot. We are prepped and ready to travel in the snow. You've also catapulted Mike. It's symbiotic. There is definitely a symbiotic relationship oh, yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, he said what? Since I met him, like he had 80% of his revenue in the last three months. Wait, what? Mike had 80% of his revenue in the last three months, and I met him three months ago. Like compared to 80% of what? Compared? Uh, like 80 for the year. Oh, really? 80% like of his revenue is in the last three months. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's like you plugged him straight into the, all the OnlyFans, like world, you know, and like... Well, that and also just helping him be consistent, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You're, not only did you plug him in, you're a great influence on him. Very, did someone say symbiotic? Yeah. Love, love that. Hey, someone's calling you, right? I got a call from Heel Mike. Heel Mike is calling me. Yo, Mike, are you watching the stream, buddy? Should I put him on speaker? Yeah. Yes, we need something. Yo, you're on speaker on the stream. What's up? Hey, I thought I was going to have to sign you up. Um, we have a, a Wi-Fi issue with the Wi-Fi network. Um, it's just not working. Can you help me out? Yeah. She wants to use Eli's computer? Just use his setup, and then what we'll do after the stream is we'll, we'll get all the alerts and stuff fixed for him too. Uh, I, a lot of my shit's disconnected, Mike. Like I took uh, part of my entire camera setup and a lot of shit. Um, like okay, I took cables and stuff too. I don't know. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, what up, stream? But um, okay, okay, that's all right. Well, I gotta, I gotta go. Help. You can, you can use, you can use mine if you want. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not going to have a camera either. I got a camera there. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a webcam. It's basic as fuck, but you can use it. Perfect, perfect. Cool. All right. Thank you. I love you guys. Have a safe Sorry. Sorry about that. Go on. Yeah, I love you, man. Peace. Peace. Just wanted to use your shit for oh. use. That's all right. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just giving a hard time. He was like looking at me before I left. He was what? He was looking at me before he left. Before he left. Yeah. And I could tell, like I was about ready to give him the keys to my car so he could borrow it. I could just tell he was about to ask me to borrow the car. Oh, you just gave him the keys? Yeah, I like threw it to him. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're gonna ask me. That's nice of you. Eli's a very generous guy. I mean, Rolls are reversed, you'd let me use it, you know. And I got on him a little hard today. Yeah? Yeah, it's about cleaning up his shit, because like two days ago, he's like, oh, I'll pick up this stream stuff today, da da da. We're gonna stream out there again, and he did it. I'm like, hey, bro, you gotta pick it up. Oh, well, we're streaming out there, we're streaming out there, and he did it. And I was like, Mike, go out there, clean up your shit. And he did, and I'm proud of him. But sometimes he is a hard guy to live with. But I love him. You know, he's just he's big little brother vibes. Yeah, big little brother. That's a good way of putting it. It's big little brother vibes. And honestly, it is cool because Mike is such a guy that like really just wants to make people around him proud, you know? Yeah. And I respect him a lot for that. I respect Mike a lot. He's, he's smart. He's a hard worker. He's just creative. He's just nerd. He's a little neurotic. A little. He's the most neurotic person in my life, dude. He's insane. Yeah. The guy's fucking lunatic, but I love him for it. Right. That's what makes him. It makes him special. Yeah. It makes him mine. Sure. If that guy had sanity, he, he wouldn't be fun. No alcohol is weird. Law. Lamb hidden. They don't serve alcohol at the strip club, but they have liquor stores which are closed on Sundays for church. Their DWI alcohol percent is super low too, but we don't drink and drive. Yeah, I'm not, I, if I have a sip of anything, I do not operate a vehicle. One beer can be a DUI in Utah. I kind of thought one beer could be a DUI anyway. Uh... You have a beer in the drive most other places? Well, if you're under .08, yeah, you can get away with it. But I think in some situations, they can still nail you. In Oregon, they can. They they get they get you a DUI under .08. I don't know. Mike, 
trying to interview El Dunkel. El Dunkel. Did he put El Dunkel? He put El Dunkel. That's his, that's his name now, El Dunkel. For the sake of not getting banned for harassment, El Dunkel stands for Love Dunkel, guys. Yeah. I just didn't know Twitch etiquette at the time. Can you jump the volume? For the music? Yeah. like 50 Discord members. I knew I liked Craig Eli right away. Thank you, Yup One. Yup One. You know, we, we, we try to keep it real, you know? We don't try to be flashy or showy or whatever. We just try, try to keep it real. I really feel like I just got nothing to hide either, dude. I'm like, I like being super good Right? Because then you got nothing to hide. What do you... Lying is just, like, takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of effort to create a smoke screen of lies. Because usually, like, when you create one lie, then you got to create another lie to back that lie up. And it's just this... It's just way easier to just keep it real. Yeah. Pandemonia in the house. What up, boss? What's up, Panda? Oh, Jelly says what's up, Panda. Pandemonium. Yo, we're driving so safe, bro. Eli is 100% focused on driving. Road trip to Vegas. Then we, I mean, we're going to Vegas, and then we're going to uh, Park City. Let's go, baby. It's just fucking windy out here, bro. This thing gets picked up by wind. My boy BC buddy Kyle got a DUI in Canada for .04. You know I got a I got a DUI as well. Drinking and driving, not chill. It was expensive as fuck, and I had to do a lot of lame ass shit to like court ordered shit. You know I had to go to treatment classes and I take a piss test all the time. Not fun. Hey, jo oh John Zerka. What up, bro? We off to Park City. Eli World Tour. World Tour, baby. Vegas, look out. Here comes the tribe. Check the activity feed. Pull out method 69. Welcome to the tribe. You know, I actually swear by the pull out method. It works. You don't pump and pray, Craig? Pump and pray? Yeah. Uh, no. No, I don't pump and pray. Do you pump and pray? Yeah, I either pump and pray or shoot and scoot, you know? Oh, the shoot and scoot. Yeah. I think my, my father was a big fan of that man. Yeah, mine too. Runs in a family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, boys. What up, Baba Hell? Oh, we up to 207 viewers. Holy shit. They coming back. Damn, I was just driving. The bro. word is out. The boys are people. back in town. 200 people watching this drive, bro. That's so badass, bro. How crazy is that? 
That's sick. It's so badass. Squared up. Was that your the music? Was that music? Was that really the music? Yeah. Not you. Dude, it's called Squirrel Sapphires. No, you said Squirrel. Oh, I did say it once. Oh, did you? Yeah. Alright. But after he said it. Squared up. Squared up. You know what the main thing that reminds me that Mike is younger than me? What? That he, his favorite Pokemon is like a Gen <laughs> Right? Fuck, I don't even know how it, like... Yeah. Gen 1 all the way, bro. Gen 1 or nothing. I, I can name the whole 150, 151. I could I not tell name, you a thing about Gen 2 or later. I could, I not, could not name one. Of I could not one. name one. Gen 1 or go home. Yeah. 100%. Who's your favorite uh, Gen 1? I have a few. Like, I, I really like Scyther. I think Scyther's sick. Oh, Scyther, badass. Yeah, I like Scyther a lot. Uh, I like that he doesn't evolve, but uh, if I had to do like an evolve form, maybe like Dragonite. Dragonite, badass. Fuck you. Fuck, I. Am I allowed to pick Mewtwo? Yeah, 100%. I, I like Mewtwo as badass. 100%. Wait, so is there 152 in Gen 1? C151. Cause what about Mew? I think Mew is 150 and the Mew 2 is 151. Oh. Okay. Right or wrong, guys. Can we get a fact check? Square it out. Hey, you know one thing that's super fucking cool about Pokemon though? What? Is that in the first episode, they showed a Gen 2 Pokemon. Really? Yeah, uh. Uh, Huo or whatever, they showed the magical bird flying through the sky like right when he leaves Palatown. Never noticed. Within the first 10 minutes of the fucking show. They showed a Gen 2. I just remember being severely, like, addicted to that show. Like, a fucking huge endorphin rush when Coming Pokemon home. was on, you know? Yes, like, that Pokemon! Oh my god, no! I know! I, I remember singing along with the song, you know, like, I wanna be the very best. Like, the whole oh, shebang. I never was. I, that Catch sh them is my real test. Oh. To train them is my game. You don't remember Pokemon! The Catch ever, so true. <laughs> Our courage pulls us from. You teach me how to do. Yeah, bro, that shit was hard as fuck. Oh, 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 just hoping for a, some badass battle and like. Squirtle uh, comes out with sunglasses. Remember that? Uh, no. The Squirtle Squad? No. You don't remember the Squirtle Squad? Dude, I don't think I saw all that. All episodes. right. What about what about Charmander and when his tail almost went out? Yo, this is a long ass time ago. Oh I, my I, god. I, I, can't, I can't. think you were actually neglected as a kid. Your mom was not putting on the episodes, bro. I don't even know if I can remember like one episode, like what actually happened. Okay, who is who is Ash's biggest crush? Uh, Misty. Ah, uh, no, it was uh. Why am I spacing all of a sudden? <laughs> it's the nurse, bro. What's the nurse's name? Oh, I don't know. Weren't the nurses all the same? I just fucking had it in my head. No, they're all sisters, Craig. They're all sisters. They're identical twins. Am I wrong, chat, or no? Am I right? I don't know. Uh, there's Joyce. Danny said, Mew is 151 and Mewtwo is 150. Ho Ho did show up after Pikachu saved Ash. Great moment, I cried. Danny. Well, I cried too, bro. The pokey, the pokey raps too at the end. Hell yeah, pokey raps. I remember my, uh, 
I went to hang out with my friend once, and like his dad got him the Pokédex, and it's just like I just remember I was like feeling insane jealousy. Like I was like, oh my fucking god, like he got the Pokédex. And looking back on it, that shit is so fucking lame. Like I love my Pokédex, bro. Oh, you had the Pokédex too? Oh yeah. You know, maybe I was fucking neglected. Yeah. I never got the Pokédex. Dude, I actually kept that Pokédex. I was like seventeen, bro. <laughs> like I was in a shoebox in my closet for way too long. I just like I just remember like there just was not enough information on it to satiate my thirst for information. I think it's more a flex like you show up at school and you flip that little plastic cover open, <laughs> makes a little ding. ding. It's like, what's up? It's definitely a flex. I, I was so jealous. Like, fuck, dude. Like, I would keep that shit in the back pocket of my Jinko jeans. <laughs> with your flat, with your plain t-shirt? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Did you ever wear Jinko jeans? No, I, I knew those were fucking, like, cringe from day one. You might be a little bit older when Jinko jeans were, like, really fucking baggy. Because what I liked about Jinko jeans, the back pocket always had, like, a special decal or something sick on it. I hated, like, oh, I hated the huge decals. I, that shit was sick, bro. I had this one that had bongo drums on it and flames, and I was like, I get so many compliments on those, dude. So I'd wear them, like, every day. <laughs> no, I was ahead of my time. I knew they were cringe. Nah, you were behind. What about Beanie Babies? Did you have Beanie Babies? Oh, huge collection. I had the, I had the Princess Diana. Really? The yeah. white bear? The purple bear, yeah. Oh, purple? Did you have the Princess Diana? I don't remember that one, but I had a bunch of different ones. What about wrestlers? Uh, like little action figures? Fuck yeah, WWE, get the ring and shit. No, I was more of a Jurassic Park uh, action figure collector. That's cool. I had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, too. I, I had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know what I love? I love that our generation, we grew up without phones and we had toys. Yeah, like, do, I do, played kids, in... do kids play with toys nowadays? I don't know. Yeah, they probably don't need them. Like, they got, like, super cool, like, handheld games. I would be devices. in the dirt all the time with my action figures. Oh, yeah, just, like, imagining scenarios and shit. Yeah. yeah. What shots are you? Danny had the Pokedex too. Okay, everyone had the Pokedex but me. I was That's a, locked in. I was a broke ass kid. But you know what? I will say, like, I had a pretty badass deck from just trading. Like, I couldn't afford to get new decks, so I would just, like. You know, I wouldn't say I would scam other kids, but every trade I did, I would come out up on top, you know? Never came out on bottom on a trade. I remember getting a scanners and wishing to God they would match the idea of scanners and Pokédex together somehow. Do you know what a scanners is? Uh, never heard of a scanners. Beyblades? Uh, after my time. What about you? Beyblades were like the... The little spinny battle yeah, spinner, I remember those, yeah. I remember my my younger cousin friend had them. Uh, I, I didn't get big enough. That, that was like after my time too. What about those Yu-Gi-Oh card things? Did you ever have one of those? The what? The like card holders for Yu-Gi-Oh that go on your arm? Oh, I wanted one. I just couldn't afford it. Oh. Did you have one? Yeah. Were you a big Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh guy? I was like pretty big into like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff, yeah. I, I like, love Yu-Gi-Oh, possibly more than I, I was way bigger into playing Yu-Gi-Oh as a game. Oh, yeah, I never Pokemon. played Pokemon the card game. And like, I, I, I had the same endorphin rush with the Yu-Gi-Oh show too, like... The Yu -Gi -Oh I have you was... now, Yu-Gi boy! <laughs> that shit was sick, bro, like the show was badass. Their duels were fucking intense. What, what happened at the end? Did it like Yu-Gi-Oh save him? Or like the blue eyes white dragon kill kill the boy or something? That had something to do with the dark magician girl. Uh, Mike told me the end and it like blew me away. Like I don't even think I saw the, the, the climax, but fuck, that was, that was a great show too. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I remember I gave my friend hella shit about watching it, like, cause I was a little older. I was like, oh man, this shit is so lame, man. Why do you do this shit? And like two weeks later, I was like collecting the cards and playing. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you ever had something like that happen? All the time, dude. Uh, 
Love Island. Mia was like telling me about Love Island. I'm like, this is so dumb. Yeah. I like watched one episode and like the first time I laughed at it, I just became invested. Yeah. That's just so funny. That was a lot. I'm usually like a hater on things like that. Uh, oh yeah, like the things you love, like sometimes you're initially a hater. Just oh like, yeah. You know, hey, we get that in chat a lot where they initially hate me. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually happened a few times. We're like, man, you like sucked at first, but now I love you. Axie UK did not have the Pokedex either. Shout out Axie UK. We're both neglected. <laughs> w Trauma. Morbid. Babies and Legos all day. I was a huge Lego guy. You know what I really liked? I had like a little uh, stint of time. What? Was Lincoln Logs. Big Lincoln Logs guy. I had those at my great grandma's house. Dude, I just love to build shit. Man loves to create. Man just loves to create. Even as a child, you know? Yeah, I really did like building shit, you know? I remember one time my aunt came and like picked me up and she like took me to Toys R Us out of the blue. Oh like, my god, that was like a miracle. Gave thing. me no reasoning at all. And she was like, you can pick out anything you want. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, all right. And I pick out this, like, Western set, like, this Western outpost, like, big box Lego set, you know? Like, it was a big set, you know? Like, took me, like, four days to piece the motherfucker together. And I am just invested in this, not concentrating on anything else around me, you know? And then I'm like... Yo, hey, where the fuck is my cat? And like, my mom tells me my cat had cancer and like, they had to go put him to sleep like four days ago. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and like, so I put like two to two together and I was like, damn, my aunt like really like, is a fucking G for that. What a fucking move, dude. Yeah, uh, that's big W for my aunt right there. I'll never forget that. But now that memory is forever attached to your cat mind. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. But well, you know, like, it's something I'll never forget. And yeah. I think there's an importance in that, like. No, I think that's beautiful, like, uh, yeah. that's beautiful of her to do that for a child. Yeah, like, if you ever have to break some terrible news to your kid, go buy him a toy. <laughs> or just do something special yeah. dedicated for them. Yeah, something, you know, because I, I love Legos, you know, and, like, but I have, like, all the random, like, big box of Legos where it's all random pieces and you gotta piece together shit. I didn't have, like, a full unique set, you know. So this was, it was really special. You know the craziest thing about this car, Greg? What? It has such good suspension that when the wind picks up, like, you feel that shit. Right, you feel it's suspended on one side. It's just like, you can just tell that you're driving a big-ass off-road vehicle, you know? Yeah. Right, this thing fucking mobs on trails, huh? Uh, yes. It, 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 I mean, you want to take it slow, because, like... Yeah, but it'll, you could rattle, it'll rattle everything inside, you know? So, like, you still want to go slow. It's Is not... it a unibody or does it have a frame? It has a frame. It has a frame. Solid frame. The creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! sacrificed his life to save someone that was driving and drowning, not bullshitting. And that, you know, I'm torn on, you know, saving people drowning because, like, they say, like, if you're not, like, a trained lifeguard or something, like... There's a high chance they drown you. Yeah, someone will pull you in. So did he actually... Did he save that guy drowning? But, yeah, I mean, that heroic move. I saw a video once of a guy going to save someone, and he fucking punched him in the face and knocked him out because he was, like, climbing on him and shit. And it saved the guy. I think I might have seen that too. People be building engines and shit with Legos now. They they build in some crazy shit. They got some crazy pieces. Like the gear pieces and shit. Or even like the fucking Taj Mahal and like the Eiffel Tower. And yeah. Shit. You become a fucking architect. Imagine giving that to a kid. And like him building that and becoming obsessed with that. That's gonna set him up to become an architect. He saved them. He helped another person save them, but died himself. You know? That's a heroic guy. I, lo I love the fucking car game. 
Where you going, Cody? Turpaholics. Love the day. We going to Vegas. And then we going to Park City, uh, Utah for some snowboarding. We will be snowboarding while we're streaming. I'll have the backpack on. I might be holding the camera. Eli might be holding the camera. We'll take turns. We'll take turns. See, see what works best. See what and delivers. Guys, we see. have had pieces where we can communicate with each other like walkie-talkies. Sorry, bro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got real windy right there. Let me check that side tire real quick, can I? Yeah. 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 All right, might be our first, uh, it does feel low. We got a light? We might have our first issue, Trav. One second. The cool thing about this truck, though, is it has a, an onboard air generate, uh, air compressor on it. So we can fucking blow air into it right now. Yeah, these tires are a little low. It's not from it being flat. I think it's from it sitting for a while. Look, we got an onboard air compressor. Though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, let's air this bitch up because, like, it's windier out here. Where's the camera at? It's windier out here, so I want to just be careful. Like, see how much it bubbles at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Let's pull that bitch out. Uh, let's see if. Uh, What's up, guys? How you guys doing, man? Yeah, we stopped a little bit, man. It's like, it's kind of windy outside. It's just, the truck is pulling a little funny and this tire feels low. We have, hey, this has solar paneling, right? Yeah. It has solar paneling, guys. Didn't you call me during that? <laughs> uh, I feel like you called me and you like couldn't get traction or something. Yeah. He was not happy. We back? What's up, boys? Oh, yeah, that's not weird. What's that plug about? What up, boys? Where's that big light? Is it in there? Where's that big white box light? I just have trouble with this thing. Oh yeah, these are supposed to be at 80 PSI. I bet this is at 50 PSI, bro. This will work, right? This goes into the... That goes into the compressor, yep. That goes into the compressor, yep. Boom, boom, perfect. Where's the compressor at? There's a switch over here. Guys, we're just gonna deal with this. If you, you know, I appreciate you guys being patient. I love you guys so much. Yo, you wanna hold it down? Right here. Hold it down, talk to them. Don't tell them that you have OnlyFans. Don't